Hi, Jared Lindner, Elite Series Pro, and on this week's vlog, we're going to talk about the last two tournaments of the 2007 Bassmaster Elite Series. The first one was won by Skeet Reese at the Potomac River, and Skeet deserves a win, and his primary bait was a Berkeley Sabertail Burley Bug, and uh, I believe he was throwing green pumpkin, he might have had some black and blue and some other baits, uh, but I think this is what he wanted on. I mean, he's kind of a secretive guy, so... But uh, this was a new bait by Berkeley, and, and he pretty much elevated it. And it's a great bait for fishing in and around tight structure and, and wood and rocks. And even when he had to go flip grass, this is the bait he used. Um, at the Potomac, where I finished 18th, one of my main baits that I started out with every morning was this new Spro Black Widow in color uh, topwater frog. Uh, I rigged it on 65 pound test ultra cast. Uh, which provided, I mean, optimum strength and durability, never lost a fish, never broke off a fish, none of the standard problems you have with, uh, with frog fishing. And I believe that the Spro frog here has one of the better hookup percentages you can find in a plastic frog. My other key thing was, when the tide started bottoming out there at the Potomac, I picked up the Berkeley Sabertail tube and I was using a one ounce true tungsten weight and uh, uh, punching through the, the thicker, thickest vegetation I could find on the river. And this actually got me some quality key bites and helped me go a long way in that tournament. Uh, these are a brand new bait by Berkeley and, and I think you're gonna hear a lot of good things from them in the near future. Uh, it's just got some incredible action uh, with the little little wings here and then the tube of course and it's a hollow body, it's ribbed and when the, you know, after a while when the scent kind of run out on it, I just got some of this Gulp Alive spray. It's in this nice little unique bottle here and you just give it a couple little squirts and you're ready to go for another few hours of fishing. And then we switch over to Toho, where Ben Matsumoto, Matsubu came, the first, came back the first day and weighed in a 25 pound bag. And basically, all he was throwing was a seven inch Zoom trick worm, June bug in color. He was Carolina rigging it around tight grass clumps, scattered out uh, next to hard shell bottom beds. And uh, he just fished it really slow and he was really patient. Um, and he got some key bites and that's all it took. Uh, you know, the, that tournament for me was one of the toughest in my professional career. Um, I found fish in practice. I only got a few bites though, but one of my key baits was this uh, Devil's Horse, Chrome Black Back. It's a great bait for when the fish are kind of hesitant to come up and bite on a topwater. It allows you to rip it through the water, dead stick it, and the fish can find it really, really easy. Uh, in practice, I caught a couple fish on it in the tournament. I think I only caught one on it. My other main bait that I thought I was going to catch them on really good in the tournament, but it just didn't pan out for me. Um, was this five inch zipper worm, black grape, uh, rigged Texas, Texas style. And what I did was basically find the tightest hydrilla clumps I could, scattered throughout the lake, and just kind of flip it in and around the, the tight grass. And in practice, I caught two over eight pounds on it, and in tournament, I never got a good bite on it. But we go there, uh, the start of the next season in February, and I'm looking for a little revenge, and I guarantee I'll be throwing this along with this 7-inch June bug worm because after you get smoked on it like you did, you got to throw it. <laughs> 